Hey everybody, I'm Scott with Starkey Family Fixing Rigging Up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and make sure that your notifications are turned on. That way you get notified when I put out a new video. Now today, I got another tool video. I went up to Harbor Freight today and I wanted to get a small air compressor because I ordered a large air compressor and it hasn't came in yet, but I wanted to have a large and a small one, okay? So <clears throat> here's the small one that I got. I've never bought this brand before, so I can't really tell you a whole lot if it's good, if it's bad. Otherwise, we'll just find that one out, won't we? This is a McGraw 20 gallon oil lube vertical, meaning that you have to put oil in it. This does four CFM at 90 pounds of pressure. So basically what I got this for is airing up tires and small impacts and just mainly small stuff. Things that I don't need to operate a large air compressor for. Now this will do 135 pounds of pressure and it's got 1.6 running horsepower. So let's go ahead and start unboxing this. Okay. Let's cut it open. Okay. It's in styrofoam. So far, I like how it's packaged. Okay, so I got it out of the box. Here's the plastic. It's not a bad looking air compressor. Now it does have these two tires here, which I'm using right now just to prop it up. But we are gonna go ahead and install the tires on here real quick. Here are the, here's the hardware that comes with it. I'm not too sure what that is right yet, but we'll figure that out. So uh, let's get this thing laid down. Okay, so all we're doing is we're laying the tank down on the styrofoam that it came with, just so we don't scuff up the tank or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get the hardware out. Still not sure what this is for yet. Guess we'll figure that out here in a few minutes, right? Or not. Anyways, let's get to the hardware. So this is what it comes with. It looks pretty nice. Now you're gonna need a 17 and an 18 millimeter wrench for this. Eighteen goes on the outside, seventeen goes on the inside. Now 
Now the nut is a locking nut. So, okay, let's grab this one here. By the way, I want to show you this. You see this little lip right here? This is going to go to the inside. Only one side of the uh, rim on here has that. Okay, so we got the tires on here. Axles are tight. Okay, so this is what it looks like assembled down onto the floor. Here's the gauges that still has the protective coating over it. I'm going to leave that on there. This is a bottle of the air oil. So it's zip tied on along with the extension cord here that is actually on there. Now I want to take you around. This right here is going to be the hole that we put the oil in. This right here is a sight glass that we're going to fill halfway full of oil. As you see right there. Okay, this is the air filter. I actually had no idea what it was. It sure doesn't look like an air filter, does it? But guess what? You press down and twist. The housing comes off and check this out in this nice i can actually say i'm really surprised on the air filter of what they sent with this i was figuring it was just going to be a piece of foam now i was going to tell you before we screw this on the wrench that i'm going to be using for this is a 24 millimeter that right there actually fits a little bit tighter. It's not the tightest. Now, if you have an adjustable wrench, that will work too. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do on this air filter before I actually install it is I'm actually going to use some liquid tape on here. Now, this isn't gonna be like a big pressure issue. But mainly the reason why I'm doing that is this way the threads and everything inside they won't end up corroding up so that's why I'm not just putting it in with nothing on there okay we're just going to screw this in as far as we can with our hand Okay, and then I'm going to take my wrench, and it doesn't have to be like super tight, but I am going to put it in there snug. Okay. So now we have that installed, I do want to, you all to pay attention to this. Clean your air filter regularly. Okay, so now it's time to free up the oil. And now this also frees up the power cord. Absolutely do not plug in your air compressor yet. Okay, so now what we're going to do is this right here is the oil fill hole. This is the nice looking plug, screw, whatever you want to call it. 
comes out of it. It's all plastic though. So we'll set that down. Now, what this is, I just got a small engine funnel. Fits in this hole perfectly. And uh, now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna zoom in on this little sight glass here. And the air compressor, I've, I've read the instructions, and it calls for this full bottle, which is six ounces, okay? And by the way, this is, this right here is 30 weight, non-detergent compressor oil. Don't use anything else that is not recommended by the manufacturers. And I will let you look at this. Okay, let's get, get zoomed in here. Okay, so, so hopefully you can see this. I put my flashlight behind the camera, but there is like a little bit of a glare. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump this in a little bit at a time here. And hopefully you'll see that uh, little glass start filling up. Now I'm gonna put about half in this first. And then we're gonna wait just a little bit here and let it settle. Now you can actually see right down here underneath the red, it's starting to fill a little bit. But you gotta remember everything is cold. This oil is like really, really clear. So we're just gonna let it settle a little bit before we pour any more in. Okay, I don't see any change now, so let me go pour some more in. Okay, let it settle a little bit. Okay, and I'm putting the last of it in there. Okay, so I've got the entire bottle in. Let me see if we can try to see this any better here. It's hard to really see this because there's such a glare. Can you see this in here? Let me get my flashlight here. You can't really tell too good. Okay, there you can see it a little bit there. Basically, you're just wanting the fluid level to be in the center of that round ring. Okay, so now we're about to actually turn the air compressor on. Okay, so on the breaking in of the air compressor, what they're recommending is to expel all the air out while the air compressor is running for 30 minutes. So basically what that means is we're gonna go down to the bottom of the air tank in a moment and open up the drain valve. That will expel all the air and all the moisture and everything like that. In the meantime, what they want you to do is run the air compressor with it expelling everything out for half an hour or 30 minutes. And then what will happen is your compressor will consistently run for half an hour. Then you're gonna shut it off and then you're going to just let it cool down. Do not use it after that. Let your air compressor cool down before you use it. But what they're recommending is after that, after an hour of usage, you need to drain your oil and change it, okay? So the drain plug is not down here. This glass here that you actually see is in the shape of an actual bolt head okay I don't know if you can tell that or not so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a socket and put it on here and gently unscrew it 
and then all your oil drains out that hole. And then you just replace it and then you put your oil back in up here at the top again. Basically just what we just, you know, did. Now it's also saying to change the oil about every six months. So if you buy this air compressor, you do whatever you want. I will be changing the oil in this a couple times a year. So let's go ahead and go to the bottom and I'm gonna show you where that drain plug is. Okay, so this is actually pretty simple. That's it. Now it's fully open. And then after you get done with the break-in procedure, you just turn it off again. And that stops it up. That way you can use your air compressor as you normally would. Now keep in mind, if you use your air compressor after you get done, I highly recommend keeping your drain open. That way the bottom of your air compressor won't rot out. And you may be able to keep this, you know, 10, 15, 20 years before it actually, you know, it gets so bad that you got to replace it. So let's go ahead and plug it in and get this air compressor running. Now, for the sake of this video, I am actually uh, doing this at the end of my garage, okay? But most generally i would tell you not to use an extension cord with an appliance like this just because it draws a good bit of electricity for the sake of this video i am using an extension cord that's about 25 feet long but it is a 12 gauge extension cord so it is very very thick so if you do have to use an item like this Remember the distance that you're going to be going with it. The longer the distance, the stronger the cord, the more capacity you're going to need. Because what will happen is if you use, for example, a 16 gauge cord and you're doing long distance, that cord will overheat. So never do that. Okay, now this is going to be very noisy. So make sure if you do this that you're not going to make your neighbors mad unless you don't like them. And if you don't like your neighbors, don't worry about it. So let's plug this thing in. And now you can take the sticker off for a stop. And you got your oil in, you got everything that you need. Now turn it on. Okay, so a half an hour has actually went by. So now the air compressor is broken in. Now, I'm only gonna be able to run this for about another hour before I have to drain the oil, whatnot. So when I get to that, I'll get to that. But what I did wanna talk about is, <clears throat> while this air compressor is not practical for heavy duty applications, this is something practical if you have lawnmowers, if you have a car, off-road stuff. This is ideal for airing up tires. Now, little impact tools like quarter-inch stuff, this will get you by. Barely, but it'll get you by. Um, this is not for any t anything heavy-duty. But what I do want to tell you is, this right here was a or $249, okay? I walked in Harbor Freight, it was $249. I got a 20% off coupon on this today, making this right at $199, $200. So trying to find a, an air compressor like this for about $200 is kind of rough. Um, now you can get like little portable ones that are even smaller than this, but those are for different applications also. I just want something small so I would not have to run my new larger air compressor when it actually comes in. And speaking of which, when it comes in, we will be doing an unboxing video on that also. So 
you guys have got this far on the video, I appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. Look at my other videos. I hope you enjoy them. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let me know if you like the videos. Let me know if you don't like the videos. I love answering comments. Put your comments down. If you have a question, I will get back with you on it. Y'all have a great night. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.